Hey family, I know it's been a minute, but I'd like to thank the uh, three people that watched the show. What, what? Oh, one and three? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'd like to thank the five people that watched the show. In the morning at you. What about? You mean you, man? How many? Nah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'd like to thank the people that watch the show regularly. Uh, more than I thought. And, um, uh, I know it's been a little minute since I put out something that actually worked, but out of video kind of got stuck. <sighs> I'll do it over. Don't worry about it. But been a little busy, so couldn't really cook and film and edit and do all the things. I don't even know if I have time to do this now. But it came to my attention that my sister... Hey, y'all! Never made fried rice? What do you, what do you mean? You, you, you never made fried rice? What kind of American are you? Okay, never Don't answer that. But all right. So, for my sister, hey y'all! I'm doing a sort of kind of quick fried rice, some sticky air fried chicken, and well, you'll see. Let's go. Hi, my name is T. I am not a chef. Actually, I'm a truck driver. And I don't drive food trucks, I drive a semi. What I'm about to do is show you how to do what I do on my truck. Welcome to your favorite new food show, Big Taste in a Small Space with me, T. Well, first to start off, I'm going to wash off my bird with a little uh, vinegar with the mother in it, you know. I don't want to use a dirty bird today. Mm, I know Atlanta, they, they famous for the dirty bird, but not that kind of dirty bird. So, wash off my little uh, bird with some vinegar with the mother. Rinse it off with a little water. Swishy, swishy, swish, 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 swish. You know, just get it clean. Nice and clean. Clean hands, clean bird. Clean thoughts. Well... Never mind. But now my bird is clean. We're gonna open up the bag, season it up real quick. A little black salt, that smoked black salt I like so much. And a little black pepper. It's a black thing today. Don't worry, my white friends. We still friends. A uh, little paprika. Don't worry about the dinging. Somebody's trying to talk to me. Some tarragon. That's gonna give it a nice little Swedish licorice taste. It's good stuff. Some cumin. Mm-hmm. I love me some cumin. And whenever I use cumin, I wanna put some coriander in there too. Mm-hmm. Some cayenne pepper. Give a little kick to it. Some garlic oil. Give me a little kick and all you vampires out there. Some wish to shear. What's this here sauce? You know, a little sweet soy. It's gonna caramelize that chicken in the oven, get a little crispy, get a little sweet, tangy, and a little olive oil, just to make sure everything's coated and can move around in your bag while you swishy, swishy, mushy, mushy, move things around, you know. That's also good for you. I like using the good oils. Mm -hmm. Let the air out, let that marinate. Now you let that marinate in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or more, 30 minutes, hour, two hours, whatever you feel like. Let it marinate for at least 30 minutes. Then you put it in the pan. Line your pan with aluminum foil, arrange your chicken, put it in the air fryer for about 30 minutes. Get your prep done while that's cooking and get your beans ready to go in the pan to cook up. So once your pan is hot, you put your uh, sesame oil, you put your beans in there, get them to fry up a little bit, you know, you know. Uh, pan's on full whack, just stir them around a little bit, make sure the oil coats everything. Make sure you don't lose your pan because it looks like it's going to slip off the hot plate. Put a little uh, garlic uh, chili sauce in there, a little 
soy sauce switch out the pan so you can get your rice done and once you know your pan is hot put some sesame oil in there make sure it's shimmering put your sweet peppers and your parsnips in there parsnips are real good for your stomach don't forget and get it all coated with the uh, the uh, oil and if you can't flip it just stir it I make a mess at times too put your scallion and your celery in there get it all turned around a little bit add a little more sesame oil I let a little garlic oil stir it up some because sometimes it's not easy to flip put your shrimp in there yeah I'm flipping again I'm flipping out again get your shrimp in there shrimp does not take very long to cook two minutes per side depending on how hot you have your stove and I add a little of that chili garlic paste to this too just to give it a little more punch of flavor you gotta punch it a little bit sometimes I'll let that cook up that's not gonna take long you know you know like I said shrimp two three minutes aside small shrimp sometimes even quicker and that's nice and hot you put your rice in there you don't have to use black rice I happen to like black rice black rice has more antioxidants than blueberries that's why it's called forbidden rice it was only given to the royal family you see I put a little Worcestershire sauce in there stir 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 turn that off put a little uh, celery tops scallion tops I just put the uh, beans back on there to heat up a little bit while I get ready to plate this up that's some skinny little mushrooms and on top of that I even added some um, uh, uh, yeah those little seeds what are those and those seeds too those are black and white sesame seeds that's what they were stir it up just to make sure it's hot at this point your chicken had been in the oven for about 40 minutes you know these little ovens they ding after 30 put on another 10 even 15 and presto what I have prepared for you is some sweet spicy sticky chicken and black fried rice shrimp black fried rice And I also had some long beans cut short with some mushrooms, some strange little tiny mushrooms, and chili oil and soy sauce. So hey, now you can all make some shrimp fried rice real quick. You don't have to use black rice. I just like it. I like it. <laughs>